असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग बॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज सेशन इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू थियोडोलाइट लर्निंग आउटकम ऑफ दिस सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन लर्नर विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन इसेंशियल पार्ट ऑफ द थेडोलाइट थेडोलाइट इट इज अ इंस्ट्रूमेंट हैविंग मेनी स्मॉल पार्ट एंड इट इज मेनली यूज फॉर द एक्यूरेट मेजरमेंट ऑफ हॉरिजेंटल एंड वर्टिकल एंगल एंड द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ थेडोलाइट इज अप टू टेन सेकेंड और ट्वेंटी सेकेंड इट इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ द इंस्ट्रूमेंट थेडोलाइट इज यूज फॉर वेरियस पर्पजेस बाई कंसिडरिंग द यूज ऑफ थेडोलाइट इट इज समाइम नोन एज यूनिवर्सल इंस्ट्रूमेंट दीज आर द डिफरेंट पर्पजेस फॉर फॉर विच थेडोलाइट इज यूजफुल इट इज यूज फॉर द मेजरिंग हॉरिजेंटल एंगल इट इज यूज फॉर द मेजरिंग वर्टिकल एंगल फॉर मेजरिंग डिफ्लेक्शन एंगल फॉर मेजरिंग मैग्नेटिक बियरिंग इट इज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर द मेजरिंग हॉरिजेंटल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स इट इज यूज फॉर द फाइंडिंग वर्टिकल हाइट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज यूजफुल फॉर द फाइंडिंग डिफरेंस ऑफ एलिवेशन बिटवीन वेरियस पॉइंट्स एंड फॉर द रेंजिंग द लाइन ऑल्सो थेडोलाइट इज यूजफुल सो द थेडोलाइट इज यूजफुल फॉर द एंगल मेजरमेंट एज वेल एज डिस्टेंस मेजरमेंट एंड हाइट एलिवेशन एंड टू रेंज द लाइन so for this many purpose thyroid is useful so it is more advanced than the compass and the level instrument these are the types of thyroid transit thyroid non transit thyroid vernier thyroid and the micrometer thyroid vernier thyroid and micrometer thyroid this classification is there only because of thyroid having vernier for the measurement of reading so called as vernier thyroid and the thyroid which having micrometer for the measurement of reading it is called as micrometer thyroid now we'll see what is transit thyroid and non transit thyroid in the image transit thyroid shown here transit thyroid in transit thyroid telescope can be revolved through a complete revolution about its horizontal axis in a vertical plane so this telescope you can see here it is rotated in a vertical plane and it rotated completely so it is called as the transit th thyroid in non transit thyroid the telescope cannot revolve through a complete revolution about its horizontal axis but it can be revolved in a certain extent in a vertical plane in order to measure the angle of elevation or depression so as compared to non transit and transit thyroid transit thyroid is generally used now we'll see the essential parts of the thyroid so first part the main and uh, important part is telescope through the telescope we observe the object at the one end of telescope there is object glass and another end of the telescope there is a eye piece and with the help of fo um, focusing screw we clear the image of object the telescope is pivoted between the standards at right angle to the horizontal axis it can be rotated about its horizontal axis in a vertical plane the telescope is provided with focusing screw clamp screw and the tangent screw the next part of the thyroid is vertical circle see this vertical circle in the image uh, you can see the vertical circle here the vertical circle rotated with the telescope and it is graduated from 0 degree to 360 degree in clockwise direction for the measurement of vertical angle because angle we measure in degrees so it is graduated from 0 degree to 360 degree by means of vertical circle clamps and its corresponding slow motion screw telescope can be set at any desired position in a vertical plane 
The third part of the theodolite is vernier. In the image you can see two verniers are fitted over here to measure the vertical angle. To read the reading of, reading of vertical circle, two verniers are fitted at the extremities of an index arm. To level the theodolite, is, it is fitted on the leveling head. So, leveling head, it is also an important part of the theodolite. In the image, it is shown, see, it is highlighted by the red uh, part. So, this is called as the leveling head. With the help of leveling head, we level the instrument. The next part of the theodolite is A frame. It is also called as index frame. The index frame and a vertical circle clamp are attached to the standard or A frame. Trunnion axis of the telescope is also supported on A frame. You can see this frame, it is looking like the letter A. So, two standard resemble the letter A and are mounted on the upper plate. See the second image, the upper plate shown over here. So, upper plate, it is also called as vernier scale that I will explain later. So, it is called as the vernier scale also. Then, uh, in the image, you can see this triangular parallel plate. The leveling head consists of parallel and triangular plate known as triback plate. It is called as triback plate. Now, see the scale plate. The scale plate is also called as the lower plate. The outer splindle, splindle means axis, the outer axis carry the scale plate or the lower plate. The, scla the scale plate carries a horizontal circle at its beveled edge. A lower clamp screw and a slow motion screw with the help of which it can be fixed accurately in any desired position. I will show you the lower clamp screw and the slow motion screw. See, this is a upper clamp screw and the slow motion screw and this is, uh, the, in this figure it is shown here, lower clamp screw and the slow motion of the lower clamp screw. So, this is a pair. This slow motion screw is paired with this upper clamp screw and this slow motion screw is paired with this lower clamp screw. Now, see the vernier. On the plate, the vernier is fixed. That plate is called as the vernier plate. It is also called as the upper plate. So, the upper plate or the vernier plate, it is attached to the inner axis and carries two vernier. It carry two vernier with magnifiers at two extremities diametrically opposite. I will show you how they are opposite to each other. In this figure, see the vernier A and vernier B, they are exactly opposite to each other. The reading of vernier A and the reading of vernier B differ exactly by 180 degree. If it is not differ by exactly 180 degrees, then we have to calculate the difference of the reading and whatever the error is there, we have to distribute error equally in this vernier scale A reading and the vernier scale B reading. Here uh, some essential parts of the theodolite I introduced to you, but when the theodolite is used, it is supported on the tripod see shown in the figure tripod. The upper triback plate has a three arms, each carrying a leveling screw and that leveling screw is useful to level the instrument. And lower triback plate having a hole in the center through which a plumb bob is suspended. And this plumb, the suspended plumb bob is, is used to center the instrument exactly over the station mark. Uh, 
the process is called as the centering in the centering the station and the center of the plumb bob should be um, coincide or should be match exactly uh, then only centering done properly these are my references for this video thank you very much for the watching video